Hello guys. Hello guys. What's going on guys? Today is special to me. Okay, do you know why? Because I wasn't cheap this video. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I just got a few purchases from Sephora that I've always wanted to try, but I just never allowed myself to buy it because I'm cheap. I'm so frugal, like I'm so cheap. I will not go anywhere. If, if there's a reason why I never go anywhere in life or I never get to the next level, it's because I don't want to spend money on the things that I need. Like I, I will, but I'll buy it for you. I'll buy it for my friend. But if I need it, it can wait. I, I, I can't afford it. But I can afford it with some money. Does anybody else have that problem? I got some new stuff. Let's just go through them. So first product here, I got the, and I put this on my Instagram story, so follow me on Instagram. Okay. I got the Laura Mercier powder, and y'all know I use this, but this is in the shade Honey, and it's, so since I'm transferring over to yellow undertones, or golden undertones, I wanted to give this a shot and see how this shade looks on me. Two Fenty lip products, so this one is in Diamond Milk. I love the pearlescent look it gives lips, so I'm really feeling that, and then I got one of the new Fenty creams, and this is the one in Honey Waffles. The Fenty Beauty, um... Pro Filter Soft Matte Petal Foundation in the shade 420. I've always told myself that I was gonna go uh, see about this. Um, I always told myself that, but I, I never did, because I mean, you know why. And so I got it. Every time I go on the website to try to get matched for it, because I'm about to buy it and I never did, but um, they tell me I'm shade 420. Like I do shade match quizzes and like, you know, put in my other foundations and I use some other lines that are well matched to me. And they're like, yeah, you're 420. So that's why I got 420. So hopefully it works today. Um, I don't know if it's the lighting or what, but it looks lighter right now. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna see about this. I got another NARS concealer. You guys know that I already use this, but the shade that I usually use is Amande, and that's this one. And this one is a little bit lighter, and it's in the shade Walnut. So the one I am using today is by the one and only Kevin Kwan. And I wanted to get this because I'm so sick okay of seeing Tierra Walker with that flawless under eye because she swears by this and like this is what she uses because she loves a full coverage under eye and I do too I don't want it to look too much don't get me wrong I love makeup and I love looking full beat but I don't want to feel it so hopefully this gives me a good feeling but I have a good feeling about this that was tongue twister but I got the shade SX12 so I want to use this today I'm very excited so we're just gonna get ready today we're just gonna get beat I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me put a headband on and we're gonna get right into it. All right, let's get down to it. Let's get. All right, so the foundation I'm gonna use today is my Morphe foundation. Be sure to check out my last video about that because I'm really enjoying this foundation. It's been doing beautiful things to me. And I just might even mix it with some Juvia's Place. I don't know, I don't know. I didn't wet my sponges but I don't feel like getting up. I will use the brush. Laziness at its best. I really hope you guys are enjoying the videos, you know? I've really been putting a lot of effort into consistency and just trying to make sure that I'm on the up and up. And I just want you guys to know that. I know it's very important to put trendy things out, you know, whatever the trend is, you know, put the video out. I will literally drive myself insane if I try to do that and I refuse to do that to myself. But I, I can go there though. I will stress myself out trying to make sure that that's done. But I'm not. Like I'm, I'm. I feel like I'm at a point strong enough mentally now. I can tell myself, I, you're not about to stress about that. You're not doing that. So move on. Get over it and just stop. Like before you start to overthink, just move on. So I can't say that everything will be. Oh God, Michelle, this just dropped. Do it. Oh, I can't. Oh. Everything, everybody's getting things online to be delivered because they're not going anywhere. It's hard to get things, <laughs> it really is. Yeah guys, just know when I get a product, like I just, I'm gonna take my time and get it. Hopefully you wanna see me talk about it, review it, first impression it. Hopefully you do, hopefully you do. And even for YouTubers that I follow, I don't even hold that against them. Like, oh my God, you're late. Like, you're late with this review. This product has been out for two weeks. I, I just don't do that. So, when YouTubers I follow do that, I just be like, girl, <laughs> it's okay, girl. 
I've really been trying to do my best. I hope you guys can see the consistency, feel the vibes. But I've really been enjoying this whole, very beginning stages of this whole influencer journey. Not bad, not bad at all. Just really honestly being myself, posting what I wanna post. And it's been working out so far. I mean, it's been, it's been doing all right. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. The concealer. All right, now I said this is the SX12. I'm just gonna take a dense brush here and like start. Okay, <laughs> I heard you don't need a lot, so I'm gonna start with that. And I'm just gonna paint this. I'm gonna be so addicted to this. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, so under eyes are good. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm gonna take this new concealer for the rest of the face. The Walnut, now I already know how this one acts, basically. It's just a new shade for me. I'm gonna take it here. Okay. I'm going in with my Morphe concealer in the shade C5.55. I'm new to this whole lace thing, as you guys know. I told you guys that, because I really just want to protect my hair and not touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. I'm kind of happy that I have like the heavy baby hair going on and stuff, because it makes me like calm down on the amount that I feel I need to put all in the forehead and stuff, because I don't think that's necessary. I'm really not trying to wash the sponge. I'll be back. And now I'm gonna get to blending. Alrighty, so I'm done blending it out and we're gonna go in with the Laura Mercier powder and honey. We're gonna real, real full coverage under the eyes. I'm loving it. I love it. I do. Let's sit and see what we get. All right, so I have the powder on. I like the color. I look scary, but we're gonna continue because it's about the ending product. Trust the process. Doesn't this look light to y'all? I don't know. Let's just give it a shot. So this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder Foundation. And I'm just gonna take that. Oh. Okay. The color's looking good. The coverage is nice. The finish is so smooth. I dermaplaned yesterday, y'all. So I feel like that's adding to the smoothness because right now there's literally no hair on my face. There's no dead skin. Oh my gosh. My skin looks so smooth. Yo. What? Fenty. <laughs> I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move on. So I'm gonna use my usual bronzer. This is my Makeup Revolution. It's gonna lightly bronze. I feel like I don't need much. This looks so good. My skin looks so smooth. The slightest bit on the sides of the nose. Not too heavy. I'm gonna do a quick eye look. This is my Madison Morphe Madison Beer Palette. This chocolatey brown shade. Mm. 
All right, I'm going into this shade here. And I'm gonna use like a mixture of these shimmers here. And I'm going to use my finger. This one on. Ooh. Maybe this one by itself. It's just gold on the side. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add my mascara, lashes, maybe a little liner, and then we'll come back and we'll try out these beautiful lip products. I think that's all we have left, so just give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I just sprayed my face. I love the way everything is setting in. I added a blush. I've been using the Warriors 2 by Juvia's Place and I mixed these two shades for my blush. Love a warm blush. Orangish reddish blushes on dark skin is always a win. So on my lashes are still drying, but I wanna go ahead and do lips while those dry. So classic dark brown liner. I don't know where it is. This is not dark brown. This is actually just brown. But I'm gonna add this on. So the first one I'm gonna go with is the Fenty Cream and Honey Waffles, baby. Smells so good. Beautiful, that brownish orange tone. Cute. So I'm going in with Diamond Milk. I'm gonna put some on top of that. Yeah, man, I just, I knew. I'm gonna love this by itself. Oh my God. Damn. This is the ColourPop Black Cream Gel Liner. I'm gonna add it to the outer third of my lower lash line. And let me pop my lashes on, shall we? And then you know I gotta do the lower lash mascara, girl. I think I'm gonna spray one more time. I love the way this looks. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna fix myself up and then we'll close out the video. Okay, y'all, I'm done. Let me tell you something. <laughs> when I sat down, I know what I wanted. Like, I was like, no. Today is full beat day. That's what today is. And let me tell you something. I got what I wanted today. Let's talk about it. I'm gonna run through it quick. I don't have much time. I only got 15 minutes on videos right now. This right here, this right here, this is a filter. This this is a filter, a professional filter. I don't know if it's because I dermaplaned. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. What I do know is that when I put this on over my foundation, now I have to be honest with you, I'm not using this as a foundation. I'm not just going in on skin and using this. I would never do that with any powder. I'm not using powder foundations. I need my liquids, I need my creams. This right here, if you can't tell how different my makeup looks today under, especially underneath my eyes, you are blind, okay, blind. This is crazy. Like, it looks, what? $48, but I feel like it's gonna give me more than $48, like it's more than what it's worth. It's just the flawlessness for me. Y'all already know, like, I'm a lighter makeup girl. I, I, well, I can be, but when I put makeup on, I want it to be on. Okay, y'all know I can walk out the house looking any kind of way and I don't care, y'all already know that. But when I step, it needs to be correct. Like, I need to be stepping correctly. That's what I'm saying. These beautiful, I don't expect anything else. This is not my first time trying their lip products. This is just my first time trying their Fenty Cream and this one in general. But uh, this is beautiful. I can't wait to try this on its own. If it really does change my life, I'll, I'm gonna have to repurchase it. Just like this has changed my life and I can see myself repurchasing it. And this, I can see myself repurchasing it now. And so this is why. I don't need to get a taste of the good life. All right. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me which product that you really see the biggest difference in down below. Let me know. I love you guys. I'm gonna take pictures now. Bye.